So the Toronto Raptors destroyed my Minnesota Timberwolves, who are a more difficult foe than they have been in the past. But either way, I want to talk about how I do believe the Toronto Raptors are one of the best rasp rafters rosters oh my god i start combining raptors and rosters but the raptors roster is one of the most stacked in the nba and let's go through it malachi flynn is at least out for another week so i want to hear your thoughts down below do you guys agree with me that this is a team that has one of the most stacked rosters and the reason i say this is let's go through the starting lineup fred van vliet and gary trent jr are the backcourt you got two 20 point scorers right there i know fred van vliet and gary trent aren't you know averaging 20 points a game but the thing is is like these guys can go off like gary trent tonight basically at 30 points and that's the thing that on any given night this is a team that has the capability of having several players drop 20 points in their starting lineup or even off the bench and let's go through those guys like first off gary trent jr is over here averaging on the season i mean first off they got him for a steal, 18 points a game, okay? And they got him a steal. They won that Norman Powell trade deal, okay? that The winners of that deal were straight up the Raptors. Then you have Fred Van Vliet over here averaging, you know, seven assists per game and 21 points a game. Insane. Then you have Pascal Siakam averaging like 22 points a game. OG Anobi being a eight, almost an 18 points per game score. Then you have Scotty Barnes. Basically, some nights his three-point shot is hitting amazing, but for the most part, Scotty Barnes on the season is averaging, you know, eight rebounds a game, four assists, and 15 points, which is ridiculous, okay, right there. And the crazy part about all of this, if you guys didn't know, over the last 10 games, I know Scotty Barnes, his three-point shot isn't hitting like as, you know, as you guys would like, but it's 17 points he's gotten his numbers up to with seven rebounds and five assists. So he's just looking like that point-forward god that we expected. Like, this team has so many riches, okay? And the crazy part tonight, they went with Pascal Siakam as their starting center, OG Ananobi, arguably as their, I mean, really, Scotty Barnes is their power forward, OG Ananobi is their small forward, Fred Van Vliet is the point guard, Gary Trent is the shooting guard. Then off the bench, they had Chris Boucher backing up, you know, my man Pascal Siakam at the center position, you could argue, and, you know, Scotty Barnes at the power forward position with, you know, Chris Boucher on the season, he's averaging about 10 points a game and six and a half rebounds. And he's a guy who over the last 10 games is averaging 12 points a game. So the thing is, is Chris Boucher's the, you know, rim three and D big man for them who just comes in, block shots, grab rebounds, stretch the floor, baby, and score points. And then you have Preston Achua, who's developed a three-point shot. Tonight he went three for seven. He continues to impress us. And him, he, over the last, like, ten games, is averaging 13 points on 37% from three, which is ridiculous, while also averaging a block and steal game. Preston Achua is a beast. And then you also have Thad Young, who Thad Young's kind of a poor man's Pascal Siakam at this point, coming in, you know, dishing out like two assists, grabbing four rebounds, you know, scoring about six points a night in like 15, 17 minutes a night. Okay, right there you have eight guys in that rotation. You throw in an extra probably Malachi Flynn as the other guard in there because that's really three big men. And you have Malachi Flynn backing up Fred Van Vliet and Gary Trent Jr. when he's healthy. Armani Brooks signed a two-year deal. He's looking good. Sfee McKaylee is a three-point shooter. If anybody goes down, he can stretch the floor. You know, Delano Banton's a good backup point guard behind Mile Kai Flynn, who's behind Fred Van Vliet. Then you have Kem Birch backing up, you know, Preston Achua, Chris Boucher, and Pascal Siakam and Thad Young. Kem Birch looked like, you know, a guy that they got for a steal last year, and he's now turned into, like, kind of a bench warmer. When last year we were all like, oh, my God, Kem Birch is going to be huge for this team. And the fact that they're so good that this year that they, they don't even need to play him, you know, that just shows how good they are, you know, that they have all this talent and they still do not need to play, you know, our guy, which is pretty freaking crazy. I think it's pretty fun to watch and I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this team and what should be done, like, playoff-wise? Do you think they're going to go as deep as I'm I'm suggesting or am I overhyping this team? I don't think I am. I think I'm giving them the, the just desserts that they deserve. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're somebody out there like, nah, this team is not that good. Like, come on, guys. I want to hear those opinions down below. That's the end of the video, guys, as I wrap this up. I really don't know where else we'd go with this. But, hey, 
if you guys do let me know in the comments i'm gonna peace out guys i hope you guys do have a great day bye bye like and subscribe